Oh, I'm sorry. I just did this to imagine you all frantically trying to figure out why you were muted. Listen, welcome to the 2021 Writers Guild Awards. I'm your host, Cal Penn. For those of you not familiar with me, I am just one of many characters played by Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, this is the first time that a South Asian American is hosting, which is crazy because there's like 30 of us now. And some of y'all are real bona fide hosts. Hello, Lily. Hi, Hassan. Um, my real name is Gulpin. Uh, as a writer, I chose Cal as my pen name. I'm sorry about that joke, y'all. See, coming out of my mouth, I was like, there's a problem with it. I used all my best material in my Jon Stewart packet. True story, I actually did just become a Writers Guild member, finally, back in October. Uh, and now I'm hosting the awards. Talk about great membership perks. When I joined SAG, they just gave me a pin. Well, and health insurance. Uh, but yes, I am so proud to be hosting the first WGA ceremony that is being presented jointly by both the Writers Guild East and the Writers Guild West. We've combined the two shows because despite all our differences, the one thing that we can agree on is the world does not need another extra awards show. So instead of having multiple shows, we just figured it'd be more efficient to combine them into one. Who says we're against packaging? This year has been full of big changes. Most writers' rooms went virtual and moved to Zoom, which no one saw coming. Quibi failed, which everyone saw coming. Since everything is virtual tonight, the audience will be somewhat virtual as well. Alexa, sound like a crowd going nuts. Oh, no, Alexa, a real crowd, not a Trump Tulsa rally crowd. We even have a theme for uh, tonight's show. Unity, because you can't spell unity without what? U-N-I-O-N. -N. Plus a T and a Y and no O. Wow, okay, I guess I'm the one South Asian who isn't good at spelling. Unity. The show brings together a wildly diverse range of people, right? From liberal writers on the West Coast to liberal writers on the East Coast. Tonight's show has all been pre-recorded. It's all been pre-recorded, including uh, acceptance speeches from every nominee. But the votes have just been tabulated, and the announcement of the winners is happening for the first time during the show. We will be presenting 26 awards tonight. 26, that's a significant number. It's the number of letters in the alphabet. It's the number of miles in a marathon. It's the number of briefcases on deal or no deal. And it's the number of weeks a year that most of us spend out of work. It's a lot of awards. But we'll try to get through them as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible because I know the winners have a long night of writing ahead, editing their wiki page and workshop and those tweets. Look, jokes aside, uh, it goes without saying that this past year has been really tough for everyone. With the world stuck at home with little to do but watch movies and TV, it was the hard work of folks in this union, along with the thousands of others in this industry, that provided one of the few real comforts that helped us get through it all. So tonight's about celebrating that. Now, I, uh, I only have the free version of Zoom, so we need to get moving before we get kicked off of here.